Okay, so this is the trail in the woods behind the elementary school in Granite Falls, North Carolina, and I've made videos back here before. I was out walking and in Granite like I do about three times a day because that's all I can do to keep my mind off my ex is to exercise. <laughs> keeps me from thinking about him and it keeps me from you know going around looking for him or trying to find him because I, I i could say all day long but i don't care where he's at but that would be a lie i wish i didn't oh they're trying to block my path here i know says i mr west virginia ninja i can sort of go around here it's gross i don't want to get hate bugs ow god damn it ow how they done that on purpose it was mother nature that goddamn whore how dare her how dare Mother Nature do that to me? I see trees are dead and we had some storms and stuff. There's a couple around my house that need to get cut down. There used to be a satanic temple back here, a little altar. You could do TED Talks on the stage, you know, or maybe preach. It was like a pulpit where they would, you know, stand there everything. I think for values up there in Grant Falls, but it's shaped weird Grant Falls is going to turn into Grant Falling down into the water holes they don't take care of. They don't need to go up there. That's the wrong way. Oh, did Mother Nature make this line right here? Did she? I think not. I sent a letter to my friends, a born again hooligan, only to be king again. Wasn't that a nice grove? Hmm. This tree up here is my favorite tree. I have an awesome picture of it from a long time ago. The sun shit shining behind it. But, oh, damn. I don't guess they have anybody come back here and mow this grass. I might get snake bit my snake. Oh, God. Did you do that, Mother Nature? Hmm. Or did a beaver do that? A big fucking beaver slap its tail in the water and scare Chucky someone's ass half to death his buttholes in his throat. But that's what he gets because this is back in 2000s, the early 2000s, he liked to make all of our buttholes go into our throats. And uh, that was not fair. So he needed some. Oh God, please don't fall. <clears throat> he needed a little uh, taste of his own medicine, I, said, I should say. Now. This is the tree that I live. I sort of got I'm fucking get snake bit good. I hope I die back here. Nobody can find me or help me. And that way I won't have to care about Ronnie or nothing else. I would miss my daughter, but I wouldn't be thinking about it because I believe when you die, there's nothing. Just blackness. Or maybe a big spooky tree like this. That's my favorite tree. I had a Bernstein bear book and I probably still do got it. When my mom and dad brought me some of my old toys back home to the house down here. I hate my mom and dad. And, uh... My favorite one was the Bernstein, or Bernstein, if you believe in the stupid Mandela effect. I don't, and I can't explain that whole thing to you. If you'd like to know, ask me. I'm not going into it now. And that book was my favorite, The Spooky Tree, and it had a tape and everything. Those are like the first audiobooks. Somebody took the goddamn pulpit's Bible holder away and left the damn... What the hell is that? I'm taking that. That's I like I took my goddamn dog tag from my grave. What the fuck? Somebody made a goddamn concrete a concrete representation of a piece of wood and there's something hanging on the side of it over here is that a goddamn squirrel it's a troll d and v and d and e well, would that be dana uh what's your goddamn name up there it's not her. dana uh damn it's not her though her last name didn't start with me but i did found her i did find some of her meth books out here when she wrote crazy shit to josh curtis once hmm deanna deanna rudisle never mind not the same person so i made my daughter like videotape me out here before and I sit on this podium and I pretend like I was doing a TED talk to all these ghosts. Like, why is this even out here? You want to say you teaching the kids about nature or something? Look at nature. It's dying. It's falling apart. All the trees are dead. My favorite dead tree. I can get a good picture of that. Well, I come out here anyway because I was going to make a little video. And I was going to put it on Facebook. And I was going to let everybody know that new Ronnie to please send him this video so that he at least sees it since he will not talk to me. Because I deserve to have a last word considering I was left with no closure. And considering the things that are personal, it's nobody's business that was going on between him and I and an unnamed recently deceased uh, being. And you know, I'm never going to get the answer as to why he did it. But I'd like to know what it is that I did wrong. I'd like to know what it is that made him so unhappy and why my space for 13 years was good enough for him. He didn't have to pay any bills, but all of a sudden, when the situation that happened, happened, you know, and he turned into a fucking drunk, he's out, peace out, now he's got a new girlfriend. And that's fine, because I refuse to be jealous. I never was before when I was with him. She's all right. I mean, she ain't me. And no matter how good she looks, she don't look good at all, but she, even if she did look good, she, he never will have it as good as he had it with me. And if he just stuck around instead of trying to run off on his responsibilities and be a cheater and a piece of shit... Uh, 
he can try to tell my mom I'm on meth when she's gonna spank my ass and what put me in the fucking corner no I've been on meth since he met me in 2011 and I was on it way before then my mom's always known it what's she gonna do I'm a grown woman so that was a little well that's Ronnie though you know he's a cop out he's a fucking sort of a snitch sort of he sell you right throw you right under that bus and then run over you two times front and back watch him do it to many people in the past 13 years and then he did it to me big time but it didn't work because my parents are my parents not his that my parents know me and they know what i do and him acting like that they know what he does and what he was doing when i met him you see he was a meth addict when i met him too and then he became a drunk in uh 10 11 years later I, and if he'd have been a drunk when i met him i wouldn't have been with him but guess what heidi aaron secrets has been on meth since the day he met me in january 2011 to this day in fucking what is this october fucking 2022 I didn't I haven't changed not one bit. I may have lost 190 pounds out of my face, but I'm still me. Actually, I was better. I was actually settled down. I actually let that man do whatever he wanted. He worked. He did a good job. I could trust him. He turned into an outstanding individual, I thought. And then you think he knows somebody. And then he does something like that. Well, I hope his new girlfriend likes to clean up pubes and piss. A lot of it. Lots of pubes and piss out of her bathroom or wherever it is. He decides to piss when he's drunk and not even lift the lid, let alone the seat. You know. And then, bitch, because you complain about having to do it, maybe she's better than me. She'd probably give him more than I could because, you know, I mean, she probably wouldn't complain about the pubes and the hair piss all over the bathroom because she probably wouldn't clean the bathroom. Or she likes pubes and piss, and she has a fur burger of her own. They need to open a restaurant. Fur burgers. Mm-hmm. It's gross. But what really pisses me off is that he raised my daughter since she was three years old. She's 16 years old now. He, she, ain't seen, she ain't seen nor heard hair or hide of him since he's been gone. He hasn't even tried to contact. He changed his number and zipped up his face, but got a new girlfriend. And I'm sure he's told her what an upstanding man he is and everybody else in the world and his family and his church because he has God now, which I plan to attend his church. Uh-huh. Just like that. To see what kind of an upstanding God-fearing Christian country boy him and his family are because I already know they're all hypocrites. See how they treat me in church in front of public because I'm going to walk up in that bitch. And I'm going to love Jesus. And I'm going to put out altar. And I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I'm a good actor. And they're dead actors, actually. But just to see. Just to put him on the spot. Because I know. He's not a good actor. <laughs> so I'm going to make that video now. But thanks for listening. And love you. See you. Bye.